I recently made a video on Omega T version 4. I've included a link in the description below. I got some great comments from Kos, Susan and Didier, and I decided to make a follow-up video showing what I learned from them. So let's switch to Omega T. Here I will create a new project, just like last time, project new. I will create a new folder for my project. I will call it Sunto F-I-E-N. I now have the dialog box showing me the structure of the project. I will close it with OK. And now instead of using this dialog box to add the documents I want to translate, I will just close it. And what I will do, I will open the folder on my desktop that has my Omega T resources. And what I can do, I can take first the document I want to translate. So this is this Word document. And I can drag and drop onto the document pane here. Next, I can take the reference translation memory in the TMX format and I can also drag and drop that TM onto the TM pane here. And finally, I have this tab delimited text file that I saved from my Excel sheets that contains sample terminology and I can also drag and drop that text file onto the glossary pane here. Now, if I move to my project folder under the Omega D folder here, I can see that in the source folder, I have the document that I just added by drag and drop. In the TM folder, I have my TMX. And in the glossary folder, I have my type delimited text file. So I can start to translate the first segment. And the next tip I learned is instead of using Ctrl U for next untranslated segment, I can simply press Enter. So Enter will do exactly the same. Again, enter, and you can also use Ctrl P for previous to go back to a given segment or Ctrl N to the next segment to navigate. Now, the next thing I will do, I will go to options and trans tips, and here I will enable trans tips. And here is what will happen. When I'm in a segment that contains recognized terminology, that terminology is displayed in the glossary pane. That's something we already knew. But in addition to that, the terminology is also underlined in the active segment. So the two words that were recognized, Paina and Alotus Valico, were underlined. And if I put the cursor on top of one term, I can see in a tooltip the target equivalent of that term. So there you have it, how to use drag and drop to add resources, document, translation memories and glossaries to your Omega T project, how to use enter to move to the next segment in a new document, and how to use trans tips in the active segment to see where the recognized terminology is inside the segment. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more similar content. Also hit the like button if you found this video useful. Use comments below this video if you have any questions or feedback and see you in the next one.